Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Ramjad Ali dear scholars so far as we have discussed about uh, the relationship between government debt and budget deficit and we have also discussed the size of uh, government debt and we have reviewed the historical trend of uh, government debt in the case of uh, United States. In this video we are going to discuss a case study the troubling long term outlook for fiscal policy. So for this purpose let's first discuss one of the main question here what does the future hold for fiscal policy makers. Dear scholars, economic forecasting is far from precise and it is easy to be cynical about economic predictions. But uh, good policy cannot be made if policy makers only look backward as a result economists in the Congressional Budget Office CBO and other government agencies are always uh, trying to look ahead to see what problems and opportunities are likely to develop. Okay, when these economists conduct long-term projections of U.S. fiscal policy, they paint a troubling picture. There are some reasons behind this troubling picture. First reason, one reason is that one reason is demographic. Advances in medical technology have been increasing life expectancy while improvements in birth control techniques and changing social norms have reduced the number of children people have. Because of these developments, the elderly are becoming a larger share of the population. In 1950, uh, the elderly population aged 65 and older made up about 14% of the working age population aged 20 to 64. Now the elderly uh, are about 21% of working age population and that figure will rise to about 40% uh, in 2050. About one third of uh, federal budget is uh, devoted to providing the elderly with pension mainly through the uh, social security program and health care. As more people become eligible for these uh, entitlements as they are sometimes called the government spending will automatically rise over time. Second reason. Dear scholars, a second related reason for troubling fiscal picture is the rising cost of health care. The government provides health care uh, to the elderly through the Medicare system uh, to the poor through uh, Medicaid. Okay, as the cost of health care increases, government spending on these programs increases as well. Policymakers have proposed uh, various ways to stem the uh, rise in healthcare costs, such as reducing the burden of uh, lawsuits, encouraging more uh, competition among healthcare providers, and promoting greater use of information technology. Uh, but most uh, health economists believe such measures will have only limited impact. The main reason for rising healthcare costs is uh, medical advances that provide new, better but often expensive way to extend and improve our lives. Okay, moving towards the aging population and budget deficit. This is the combination of aging population and rising healthcare costs will have a major impact on the federal budget. Government spending on Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid have already risen from uh, less than 1% of GDP in 1950 to uh, uh, about 9% today. The upward uh, trajectory is not about to stop. Okay, the CBO 
uh, estimates uh, that if no changes are made, spending on these programs will rise uh, to about 20% of GDP over the next half century. Then one of the main questions arises here, how the United States will handle these spending pressures uh, is an open question. Okay, simply increasing uh, the budget deficit is not uh, feasible. A budget deficit just pushes the cost of uh, government spending onto a future generation of taxpayers. In the long term, the government needs to raise uh, tax revenue to pay for the benefits uh, it provides. So here uh, we have uh, to discuss the fiscal uh, management. Dear scholars, uh, the big question is uh, how the required fiscal adjustment will be split between uh, tax increases and spending reductions. Some economists believe that to pay for these commitments, we will need to raise uh, taxes substantially as a percentage of GDP given the projected uh, increases in spending on Social Security, Medicare and Medicaid. Paying for these benefits would require increasing all taxes by approximately one third. Other economists believe that uh, such a high tax rates would impose uh, to great a cost on younger workers. They believe that policymakers should reduce the promises uh, you know, being made uh, to the elderly of the future and that at the same time people should be encouraged to take a greater role in providing for themselves as they age. Okay, this might entail increasing the normal retirement age while giving people more incentive to save during their working years uh, as preparation for uh, assuming their own retirement and health costs. Resolving this uh, debate uh, will likely be one of the great uh, policy challenges uh, in the decades ahead. So this is all about the troubling long-term outlook for the uh, fiscal management when the government has government has uh, debt and budget deficit. So see you with another video. Ciao.